The tools of the artist and the tools of the tradesman are often the same, and sometimes the product of their labors may bear more than a passing resemblance. But the artist's product is the result of a desire to share an idea with the rest of the world, be it with colors, shapes, textures, or sounds. Sometimes that desire to share is too big to be confined to a single medium. So, fittingly, we close this program with a man of many media. Probably the best way to define myself is to say that I'm an artist, musician, teacher, broadcaster, etc. <laughs> Good evening. This is Dennis Gonzalez. You're listening to All Night Jazz on News Classical Jazz, Kate Yara 90.1, Dallas, Fort Worth. And uh, what you just heard was from Poland. When I'm in the studio, I feel that I need to be as much an artist in dealing with all these technical things, such as the uh, control board, uh, the tape machines, that kind of thing, as I would in picking up a horn and playing it or orchestrating a piece of music or maybe painting something. The next thing is, I think, something you'll enjoy. I've been getting a lot of requests for this. This is my new album. We're going to do some music, uh, some mariachi music, called Dos Cosas, and uh, I think you'll enjoy this. Any of my music really relies on my musicians to give it form, to breathe life into it. When I deal with my musicians, they give of themselves to my music, and so their music becomes mine. I'm a very selfish person in that I take everybody else's music and make it mine, just like an education. I learn more, I, I'd say, than I teach. The reason that I teach is because in teaching, I have to learn. So actually, in a way, it's a selfish thing. I love to learn, and when I learn to teach something, then I really learn it. And that's the way my art and my music and my being an educator works out. I paint because it's important for me to express things that I can't say vocally or musically. In the same way, when I paint something or put color on canvas or on paper, you should be able to hear it. I have always said my visual art and my music are the same thing. They're waves, and some of the waves are perceived by the eyes, some of the waves are perceived by the ears. So my paintings are, I guess, musical statements. When I play, I try to, to paint something. I'm telling you exactly the same thing as my paintings are telling you. And people will say, well, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that which cannot be expressed in words. I think that everything that I deal with in my life has the uh, potential to be an instrument. 
I also feel that I've been given talents, and that these talents, if I don't use them, that I'll lose them. And so I'm very careful that all these instruments that I have, I use, and not just musical instruments, but uh, visual art instruments, uh, technical instruments, whatever. These instruments are, are essential, and if people learn to use them, they can work miracles in their own lives. Life is a, to me, is a, a joyful experience, and I'm glad to be here. And so throwing all this confetti in my paintings, just like going, yay, I'm glad to be here.